Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be showing how to make these cute stickers for your business. The first thing you want to do is go to inkscape.com and download, well I'm sorry, inkscape.org and download this software. You're going to go to the download tab and select current version. Once you have pulled up this screen, you're going to select whichever software that you well, operating system of the, your computer. And since I'm using a Mac, I'm going to choose Mac OS and click download. And I downloaded the software off camera. So after you have downloaded, you will just go through the steps of installing it on your computer. Next, you wanna go to defont.com and download the fonts that I will be using. The first one that I am using is Mango Salsa. And to find it, you can go up to the right hand corner and search it in the search bar. And after you have pulled it up, you're gonna click download in the right hand side. Next, you're gonna download Paper Flowers and you will follow the same steps to find it and then download it. Next, you're going to go to your files and you're going to select the fonts that you have just downloaded. Double click on it and select open if you are using a Mac and this way you will be able to install it on your computer. If you are using a PC, you would just follow the steps to install the font on your computer. Then I'm going to go back to the internet and search for the flower that I'm using and to find it I search sunflower PNG free and you can select any flower that you choose but this is the flower that I am using and to download it I'm going to right click it and select save image to downloads. Now you're going to want to open your Inkscape software and if you're opening it for the first time then you don't have to worry about anything being on the screen but if not you're going to go to file and select new. Now that you have your blank canvas the first thing you want to go to do is go to file and select document properties and once the screen has brought up you're going to change the document size to US letter and after you have done that you're going to go to the top left corner where it says display units and change the millimeters to inches. Next you want to go over to your toolbar on the left hand side and click the square and draw a rectangle and to draw you're just going to click the left side of your mouse and just drag it out and then you will see the color changing bar at the bottom and I'm just going to select the color to change it to this tan color and I'm doing this so that when I make my outline of my sticker I will be able to see the white. Next I'm going to begin typing out my words and to get a text box you want to go to the left hand toolbar and click the bolded A and it will bring up your toolbar. So the first thing that I'm typing out is thank you for helping my business. And as you know, the saying says, thank you for helping my business grow, but we need to have two separate text box. So we're going to type the first part first, and then we're going to click it and make a new text box to type out grow. This is very important to not type them all together. Now do we have the words typed out? We will need to center the text. So to do that, we're going to double click on the first text box. And after you have double clicked it, you should see this toolbar pop up. You're going to click the drop down and center. And to center the grow with the entire text, we're going to select both items. And once both text boxes are selected, we're going to go up at the top right corner and align them as well. And to do this, you're going to click align and this toolbar will pop up. And you're going to go align center and vertical. Now we will need to change the fonts to the fonts that we downloaded earlier. So you're going to make sure your first text box is clicked and you're going to go to where you can change the font and type in paper flowers. That is the first font that we're using and then we're going to go to the next text box and use the mango salsa. And you can just click in the box and search for the font. Then I'm going to resize the font and make it a little bit bigger. And I'm also going to reduce the line spacing so that the two are closer together. Thank you. 
And after you have adjusted your font sizing and line spacing, you may need to re-center it. So to do that, you just follow the same steps. You're going to make sure you have both boxes selected. And then you're going to go up to the toolbar and select align. And remember, we chose align vertically. The next thing you want to do is select the first text box and go to where it says path and select object to path. Once you have done that, you're going to right click and click ungroup. After you have done that, you're going to go back to path and select union. Now you're going to do grow. So you're going to click it, go to path, select object to path, and then you're going to right click it and ungroup. And then you want to click away to make sure that all of the letters are not selected. Select the O and delete. Now we're, now we're going to be inserting our sunflower and to do this you're going to go to file and select import. And after you do that it will bring up this screen and you will select the fi file that you have downloaded which is the flower. Select open and just click OK. Now that you have your sunflower you're going to resize it and make it the same size as the grow text and then once you have resized it to make it smaller you're just going to put it in place of where the O was. Now you will need to select the G, R, the W, and the exclamation point and to select multiple items you would just hold the shift bar and click the item that you want to select and after you have done that you're going to go to path and union now you will want to join all of the black text so you're going to hold shift and select this text box the second the first text box and after you have them both selected you're going to go back to path and select union again Next, you want to make sure you have the text box selected and go up to path and select linked offset. And once you have done this, you will see that your mouse is going to change and you will also see a white square. And once you see that, you're going to click and hold that square and drag outward. And as you can see, it makes your outline text black because your font is black. But we're going to change it, change this by going to the toolbar and selecting the first mouse. And once you have done this, you're going to go down to the bottom and change the color. Now you want to move your white background away from your text and this is to be sure that there are no spaces and as you can see that there are a few spaces in the text. So to fix that we're going to make sure that the background is selected and then we're going to go up to where it says path and after you have clicked on path you will click object to path. And once you have changed it from object to path, you're going to make sure it's still selected and go to your toolbar on the left hand side and select the edit nose clicker. And once you have done that, you're going to select the spaces that you want to correct and delete. Now you want to go back to the toolbar and click the mouse tool to be sure that you have the right selector. Now you want to join your words with your sunflower and to do this you're going to make sure that all of it is selected you're going to go up to your toolbar select object and group and once you have grouped it you're just going to move it back to be centered with the white background and to do this you're going to drag it in the text and then you're going to select both objects and we're going to go back to that align tool which is in the right hand side and you're going to center it, center it vertically and horizontally
Now you want to group the white background with the text and to do this you're going to go up to where it says object. Make sure that both of them are selected and click group. Next we're going to delete the tan background by selecting and clicking delete. Finally we are ready to export our file and to do this we're going to go to file, export PNG image. And then you want to be sure that your image is selected so we're going to click on our sticker. And after we have it selected, you will see that the selection tab is now highlighted. And after you have done that, you're going to go down to where it says export as. And after you have done this, it will bring up this window. And you're going to name your sticker. And I'm going to name it as business sticker. And once you have done this, you're just going to click where you want it to be saved. I am saving it to my desktop. And then I'm going to select the save button. After I have saved my image, I'm going to go over to the bottom and select export. Now we're going to go over to Cricut Design Space and upload the image. Choose browse and find the image that you have just saved. Once you have selected it, you're going to choose complex and save it as a print then cut. Now you're going to upload your image into a new project. Now that you have your sticker uploaded, you're going to go over to shapes and choose the square. I am changing mine to a blue color. You can change it to whatever color you like and be sure to click the unlock button. And now we're going to resize this square to 6.75 by 9.25. Now we're going to drag our sticker over to the blue rectangle and if you can't see it, you will need to go to arrange center front. And after you have done this, we're just going to position it on the paper and then we're going to duplicate it across the blue rectangle. This blue rectangle serves as a printing guide. As you know, in Cricut Design Space, you can only print and cut by 6.25 by 9. 6.75 by 9.25 so this is why we created the blue rectangle and we're just going to duplicate the sticker all across until we have filled it up Next you want to delete your background rectangle and then you want to drag and select all of the stickers and attach them. You also want to be sure to save your document as well. And I'm just going to save mine as stickers. Next you want to go up to the top and click make it. And after you have brought up to this screen, you're just going to click continue and send to printer. The printer that I'm using is an HP OfficeJet 5210. And then I'm going to select my printer and click print. And after you have selected print, you want to be sure to turn off bleed. And then I'm going to turn on use system dialog. This is so that you can have more settings and adjust the print quality on your document. So after this pulls up, you're going to select color and be sure to turn the quality to best. And here are my stickers printed out. And I use the Cricut brand printable vinyl, but you can use whatever sticker paper that you have or which one you prefer. If you prefer a brand that is more glossy versus matte because these stickers have a matte finish, but it's all up to you, whatever your preference is. So now I'm going to load in my Cricut and I'm going to be using the green matte. And you want to be sure that your paper is properly aligned on your mat so that your stickers do not cut incorrectly.
And these are our stickers. I think they turned out really cute. And I'm going to just apply these to all of my packages. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And also click that bell notification so that you'll be notified every time that I post a video. Feel free to comment down below on what you would like to see next. I thank you for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!